Welcome boys and girls, back to Let's Play Shadow Warrior on the No Pain No Gain difficulty as emulated on DOSBox. I'm Blood Eye Draken, we're getting there, this is Map 19, Water Torture. Okay, first things, get out the grenade launcher and then pick up the Uzi ammo. And then see how these four pillars with flames on top of them, I guess they're like chimneys for this water plant. Uh, yeah, you want to swim in there first, but first we'll fire a grenade in there. Then we'll get the shotgun out. And then we should have maybe one or two koi to go after. Yeah, there we go. We're good. And then get the grenade launcher out again. I'm just going to make sure I've got plenty of air for this. And swim through this passage, and when you've got a clear shot, fire a grenade. One of the koi will touch it and set it all off. So they should be all dead, hopefully. Sometimes it's 18 kills instead of 17. Anyway, do a water jump. That's when you swim underneath the water and then pop out to jump higher. And you'll get yourself a fortune cookie. And then swim up this t pipe here. Take care of the evil ninjas. And this coolie with the rail gun. Damn straight. Right, let's... Let's save it the last of our sword action while we're at it. We're heading over to the submarine docking bay. No, no! Forget it. Ah, oh, he's turned invulnerable. Hang on. I know how to take care of him. You just gotta let him keep shooting you and then he'll give up and shoot himself in the head. Yep, we just witnessed it, basically. Uh, what happens is... Uh, on this sector seems to be a bit glitched. For some reason, uh, one of the evil ninjas will turn immortal, and the only way to kill him is to pretty much just let him shoot at you until he gets bored and shoots himself. Anyway, we should have some more evil ninjas over... Yep. That's the other side of the submarine side. So. Take care of that trap. Those evil ninjas are now dead, almost dead. There we go, now they're dead. Jump on over. There's a med portable med kit in there if you need it. I'll put that on, speaking of which. And a grenade launcher in here. And blue keycard down in that submarine, so. Just launch a few couple of grenades in there. Should take care of some evil ninjas and rippers. And then through to this door, there's a woman doing some maintenance on the submarine, so we'll just pull down that piston and it should give us a blue key card. And we'll just head upstairs and we've summoned more evil ninjas our way. Nothing our Uzis can't take care of. Oh Jesus Christ! You brave son of a bitch firing at me point blank range with your missile like that, sir. Just go get that portable med kit then, and it will pretend nothing ever happened. Okay. Yeah, I am drawing breath in between sentences, if you must know. Anyway, we'll hit that access card in. Get the rail gun out. Take care of the coolies. And make sure you grab this secret on the right before you head to that door. You want to get yourself some Kevlar armor. Because... I think this, yeah, this secret will become inaccessible soon enough. Anyway, for our Uzis, we will take care of these coolie ghosts. But take heed, be careful where you're firing, watch the uh, coolie ghosts as well. reason for that is because there's a secret here that's inaccessible at first. But what happens is pull this switch and it reveals some glass where the koi fish are. And there's an explosive canister there. See where this is going? Also take note of that red access door. So what you want to do is be right here when you set it off. Open this up. Grab the nuclear warhead. 
swim up to this vent and grab the red key card. Get the missile launcher out. Swim up to the surface and take care of some evil ninjas. Yeah! Oh, well, I guess the missile order already got me. Whatever. I can heal myself up. Yes. Now we'll just go ahead and grab the... Oh, I'm in the wrong area. Yeah, you can swim down here as well. Grab the uh, grenade shells. And see, that door's inaccessible now. They're sealed off because this area just became flooded. Safety precaution, I guess. Pretty clever. They... I remember Quake 2 bragging about that on the back of its box about flooded hallways causing mayhem in a level, but... Never saw it. But it does it here, so there you go. But now that we have the red key card, we can swim back in this original pool of water and surface back up to that same spot from before, where we are... Uh, we're heading for the submarine docking station. This is the tricky part. I'm trying to work out... Yeah. Slam the red key card in. Lower the elevator down. And... Well, let's get it back up, actually. And, yeah, toss that grenade in. That gas, gas bomb. Then we'll just start firing grenades at him. Let's, let's use the Uzis at this point. Yeah, there's a whole lot of rippers. Pretty much just throwing everything we got at him, along with the gas grenade. Where's the other guy? Ah, oh, there he is. He's nice and dead. And there's the red access door. Um, that's pretty much the other side of that flooded area now. Yeah, and if you need some, there's some caltrops in this cupboard. That, not that I use them. There's a green key. And in here we have regular armor. And if you want to top up your railgun, hit that light switch. It lowers this pillar down. And there you have it. Alrighty. Hopefully I'm not missing anything else. No. Let's just major heal up. Don't want to take any chances. So now that we've got the green key card, we're heading back to the submarine docking station. Oh, Jesus, I forgot that there's coolies behind that door at this point. Get it together, Dan. Get it together. There should be more enemies inside the station now, too. More, uh, evil ninjas, I'm assuming. No, but there's cool, definitely coolies behind this door as well. This is where you put the green key card in, and funny enough, you can tell because the hallway's green. Kappa. Alright, we've got some guardians in this hallway. I'm going to pretty much try and give them open for some guardian heads. Come on. Excellent. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh god, you got to watch out for that crane. Oh. Hook, I guess. No one else is offering me any guardian heads right now. Bit of disappointment. Also, take note of this yellow door in this... I don't know what room this is. There's a shotgun if you need that too. Alright, so I'll climb up this ladder. Take out this guardian with the rail gun. No, no, where, where'd he go? Beautiful, thank you. Where is he? There he is. Ah, I don't even care if there's no guardian head there. I'm just happy to have blown him up. Now, when you open up this green door, just fire missiles immediately. And that would be why. Let's see. Patch myself up. Fortune cookie, thank you. Excellent. And then press this, press this switch and it'll bring this platform back and forth. Go with the railgun again. And there should be another portable med kit here. Oh, well, I grabbed it, I guess. But that's, that's okay. Yeah, but is he... Ah! 
Oh shit. Well, that wasn't very smart of me. Oh, well, at least I didn't lose too much health. Yee. Get it. Beautiful. Right, so here's the interesting thing. The yellow key is right here, and you can slam that right in. So I think you just go back to where the other yellow door is and open her up. Yep, there we go. Now only have... well we got a guardian head so let's use that and we're also going to apply the smoke bomb probably applied it a little bit too early but I think we'll survive just turn around behind you face this way actually Yep, pretty much took all, care of all the evil ninjas and uh, coolie ghosts. Now open that up and you can get yourself another nuclear warhead if need be. And we have another interactive moment! Pretty much using this tiny little device to pretty much blow open a couple of cracks. That one up there is a secret. And then that one over there is the way out. One second. There we go. Now, now that's on the way to a secret, but we've got another one to attend to as well. Push that ele uh, send that elevator back up, and that wall beside you will open up for a ripper heart and a uh, fortune cookie. Yes. Not much of a secret. I, I guess it's kind of clever. I do like that one with the uh, flooded hallway, where it only activates after the hallway's flooded open flooded about. Okay, so we're head pretty much heading back to the docking station once again. Yeah, we've been crossing through that station multiple times, I can tell you. And so what we do now... Ah, who's the ammo? Let's see if we can find more. Health kit's down there below. I didn't know that before, so that's always good news. Where there was a... No, I picked it up already. Okay, never mind. We're, we're exiting now. So you pretty much just swim through this hole, swim over to this crack in the wall. I'm just going to swim up quickly to get some air. That gives... Yeah, that gave us a guardian head, essentially. And then we'll just swim through... Oh, hang on. Uh-oh. I fucked up. It's all good. I'm pretty much just doing battle with a couple of uh, serpent gods. I'm just gonna have to fight them with whatever I've got, really. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ! Well, that was my fault, but still. Alright, that's one guy down. Just need to take this other sucker out, and we'll be fine. If you can hear that beeping, that's just someone messaging me on Steam. Go away, I tell you. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I'll get to them soon enough. Okay, that's everyone dead. We have one last secret. It's behind this exit. You can get yourself a heat-seeking missile Ancient card, which... Chinese yeah, I could have used that a couple of seconds ago, but whatever. If I didn't know any better, that's... Right from there. If I can form a sentence properly. Well, that's Water Torture. Let's get out of here. A short level, but very, very complex and confusing. Especially when you're starting out with it for the first time. But it's not that bad once you play it a few times through and get some help getting through it, so...
Stone Rain is coming up. I will be practicing it. I don't know when it will go up, but hold your horses and it will be there. I'll see you guys later. Hey, you polished too? You are a pathetic excuse for a man. So, you good with hands? <laughs> I prefer girls. Hey, Chiki, you tighten my nuts, hmm? You're too short for me. Lo Wang's drive shaft needs service. You're too short for me.